differently. Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah, and once you go back to him, he'll own your dignity too. If you can't beat him, might as well join him and reach into their pockets. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community, and being cut off means slow strangulation. I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes. It'll be easier to explain once we have the Bolt 52. Okay. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, a ti sí te voy a ayudar. Sanjar, me has caído bien. Pero no te unas a la junta. Si te unes a la junta, te va a joder. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. Sounds like the board gave themselves the power to arrest an entire planet. They would say it's for the greater good. Yes. Making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. I'm trying to build something here. They only want to destroy things, and they risk ruining Monarch for all of us. It isn't just that they drain our people and resources. Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all as destructive rebels and pushes us further from the rest of the colony. So, what's the downside? Shall I begin with the supply shortages or the subtle but constant threat of annihilation? He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. What can I do for you? I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to stuff? Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Okay. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptodon acid. Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Orki? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. Sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this 
quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Good to have standards, I guess. I know what I'm looking for. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like Saltuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Okay, so look at the kumbar. She's always cranky. No. Real ruins? Huh. It's just like in the cereals. Think they left anything good behind? No, 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 no. Yo no, no, no he subido de nivel en ningún momento.
Vamos a ver qué hay arriba. Probably, I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. Get me out of here! What do you mean? It's locked. Estás de coña. Ah, you. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy, and hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? on me how's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect oh no este lian Thanks a lot, mister. Get the puertas.
Esa es la actitud. <risa> Vale, oy, oy, oy. ¿Qué dices eso? ¿Qué ahora viejo? ¿O okay. qué? Claro. Vale, o sea que ya tenía traya el pobre. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. No se va a quejar. Pues... Pues tocará, tocará comprar otro. Y aunque sea para... A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Total. Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. He's lucky they didn't want a liver or a heart. 